how can you find the height of CN tower? Let us see using trigonometry how simple it can be. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we will take up a 3D application. Find the height of CN Tower using basic trigonometry. And this method of finding height is actually practically adopted to find height of accessible objects. Very important to note. So also look into the strategy of using the technique and I will also show you how do we get the relevant information from a wordy word problem. Now let us read the question here. To find the height of CN Tower in downtown Toronto, Canada, Anil took advantage of the perpendicular ropes, a crossing where east-west road intersects the north-south was selected as point O. OT was marked as the baseline 50 meter long, where T is due south of O. Angle of elevation to the top of the CN tower from T is 75 degrees. Find the height of CN tower if O is 110 meters due south of the tower. So while reading, I took note of some information which I thought is important. Now just to show you that information, I highlighted. So that's first scan. Now we need to understand the given situation. So now let's read it once again and it says what? Anil took advantage of perpendicular roads. That means roads are perpendicular. Some are going north-south and some are east-west roads. So that is common here in Toronto. A crossing where the east-west road intersects the north-south was selected at point O. So the point of interest is O which was selected. OT was marked the baseline 50 meters long, where T is due east. Now, this is kind of very important. So, when I say that OT was marked 50 meter long, where T is due south of O. So, the, clearly this line, this point is O for us and that is T. And distance between OT is given to us is 50 meters. You get the idea. Now, since T is east, well, that's thing like this, right? That is north and this is east, right? So, they are perpendicular, right? That means this is perpendicular. Let me show the perpendicular in a better way. You get the idea. So, in the horizontal plane, where the roads are intersecting, they are perpendicular. Find the height of CN tower if O is 110 meters due south of tower. So, this is 110 meters due south of tower. Is that clear to you? Now, let us label C and tower as C and N. Now, we have a complete figure here, angle of elevation being 75. Now, see how simple it is. You can now pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given. Most of my students are getting excellent marks. Some are getting the highest in the class and even awards and scholarships like Akshay. After attending university, the winner of this year's Certificate of Achievement Shulik Leader Award is Akshi Kandivani. Great. Our student, Akshit, gets highest marks and the most prestigious Shulik 
leader award you can be there join our classes and excel okay now i think the concept is clear to you let us look into the solution of this particular problem so i have just taken the key information from the question which says that we need to find the height of the tower which is called cn tower o is the intersection of north south and east west lines and t is a point from where the angle of elevation is 75 and ot is the base line of 50 meter long o being 110 meters from the base of the tower clear so how will you solve it well as we notice that the roads are intersecting at right angles and therefore this angle here is 90 degrees so the angle not is 90 degrees so that means the triangle which we have not is right triangle correct and we can find the third side which is nt using pythagorean theorem which is square root of no square plus ot square right the values given to us are 110 square plus 50 square correct we can use the calculator to calculate this particular answer we get 110 square plus 50 square that is 14600 and its square root is approximately 120.8 meters so we have the distance from n to t is 120.8 Now see the other triangle, which is C and T, is also a right angle triangle, right? So I think you can now easily solve it. 120.8 being n to T and 75 the angle of elevation. Let's go to a fresh page to solve it, right? So we labeled this as C N O T, and we found that the particular dimension here was. Hundred and twenty point eight, and now we can find C N, which is the opposite side to mm. angle of elevation of seventy five. So we can write tan of seventy five degrees is equal to C N over N T. Since we calculated N T as one twenty point eight, I'm substituting that, and now C N is one twenty point eight times tan of seventy five degrees. Correct. So I already have this value here on my calculator. I'm just going to multiply this with tan seventy five. That gives us one forty point nine. So it is one fifty point nine, which I am going to round to four fifty one right meters. So with these calculations, we get a height of four fifty one meters for C N Tower. You get the idea, right? So that is how we can actually solve such questions very easily. So we just applied basic concepts of trigonometry to find the height of C N Tower. You get an idea. how powerful trigonometry is and that is how most of the heights of the peaks have been found and all the towers and buildings which are accessible right so that is how we do it i hope you find it interesting and useful feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great and in case you want to learn from me send an email on the address given Thanks for your time and all the best